For those of you who don't know, Paul Tudor Jones is a pretty damn successful investor. He built and founded the Tudor Investment Corporation from the ground up and in the process has made himself billions of dollars. In particular, he made a name for himself and pretty much tripled his investments in 1987 during Black Monday. He bet on a crash and got it right to a T, proving that maybe, when he's calling for caution, it just might be worth listening to him. In 1990, he did that same thing in Japan, successfully predicting and profiting off of the Japanese equities bubble, again, timing it almost perfectly. Needless to say, he's become something of a paragon for bear markets, and it's his status as that paragon that makes people like me listen to him whenever he has something to say. Luckily for us, he recently went on TV and gave us another insight into his mind. He showed us what he's thinking about, what he thinks is going to happen with the markets, what he thinks is going to happen with inflation soaring higher than we've seen for decades, and what he's doing about it. But first, really quickly, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoy this video, then hit that like button and leave a comment for the algorithm. Also, make sure to check out our Patreon. We're building a community of investors with loads of exclusive content, including buy and sell alerts for my own personal portfolio. So make sure to check that out. I think the thing that to me is the number one issue facing the Man Street investors is inflation. And it's pretty clear to me that inflation is not transitory. It's here to stay. And it's probably the single biggest threat to certainly financial markets. And, and again, probably, I think, to society just in general. So this 5.4% CPI is a real eye opener. It's the highest CPI we've had in 30 years. And of course, it's going to go higher here in the next few months as energy feeds through it. So. For an investor in particular, most of this audience, it's absolute death for a 60-40 portfolio for a long stock, long bond portfolio. So the real question is, how do you defend yourself against it? How persistent will this be? And um, <clears throat> what does the outlook hold? And there's a combination of structural and cyclical forces that right now are all rolling in the same direction to say that inflation can be much worse than what we fear. So let's just start with the cyclical forces first. We have the demand side of the equation, right. uh, and that would be M2. M2's grown 5.4 trillion since, um, since, the, since the pandemic began. That's three and a half trillion dollars greater than what it normally would have. That three and a half trillion, 16% of GDP, just sitting and liquid deposits that could go into stocks or crypto or real estate or be consumed. So that's a huge amount of dry powder that's just sitting there waiting to be utilized at some point, which is why inflation's not going to be transitory. So that's, that's, that's the first big, um, I think, cyclical issue. Also, don't forget, we just raised uh, another demand factor would be we just raised benefits for Social Security retirees as well as military, about $75 million by 5.9%. That's just more fuel right. to the inflationary fire. The, the second big component would be the wage pressure that we've got. And the easiest way to see that is obviously job offers relative to unemployed. We're 10.4 million job offers, 7.7 .7 million unemployed. It's clear that we have a structural issue in our labor force that's not going to be solved by 0% interest rates and quantitative easing. So um, if you take those two factors and then overlay the structural issues, uh, and there are four big ones, the structural issues, right. you really paint a very, a very bleak picture on inflation. The structural issues are, first and foremost, we have a Federal Reserve Board that are inflation creators, right. not inflation fighters. So and that is a huge, huge deal. So most of what you just heard there won't be too groundbreaking if you've been paying attention over the last few weeks. Inflation at 5.5% is not normal and it's not healthy for our economies either. Despite what some people would like to believe, it's not purely demand or supply side driven either. 
Of course, there have been supply side shocks in the energy market, in microchip production and in shipping all over the world. No one is claiming that isn't the case anymore. But there has also been inflation in wages and in local food prices that has been influenced by the crazy money printing going on in pretty much every major economy around the world. Where Jones does actually go a little bit off board and really go against the grain is with how he believes the Fed is behaving. Firstly, he says right off the bat that keeping interest rates at 0% and still printing billions of dollars every month isn't even remotely close to fighting inflation, it is causing inflation. When the Fed says that they are fighting inflation, they are lying, plain and simple. Another thing that most people would be surprised at is Jones's belief that Bitcoin is now a better inflation hedge than gold. He said that it's definitely his preferred inflation hedge and that he's holding more Bitcoin right now than he's holding in physical gold. For most of us who pay attention to this space, what is surprising about this isn't the content of what Jones is saying, but when he's saying it. Personally, I've been of the belief that in the future, Bitcoin will basically become digital gold and it will act as an almost ideal inflation hedge, but I've never been convinced that that will be its primary role for a few more years. Jones clearly thinks differently to me and maybe he's right. Maybe the reason gold has struggled this year and even the few years before that is because all that money that historically would have been flooding into gold due to sky high inflation has been flooding into crypto instead providing us with this huge bull run that never seems to end. The truth is, we just don't know yet, and it will probably take years for us to work out for sure what is really going on with crypto and gold and inflation hedges as a whole. Now, if you need just a little bit more of a reason to maybe take Paul Tudor Jones seriously, well, you only have to look back a few months to June, back when most people were still claiming that inflation would subside, that it was transitory, and that all fears were unfounded. He saw the reality. He told us that inflation is here to stay and that if the Fed ignores it, then it's time to invest in some more inflation hedges. Now, if you're like me, you care about personal finance and you try to be smart with your money, then you need to hear about this video's sponsor, BlockFi. Now, BlockFi offer a crypto earn platform that allows you to earn interest on whatever crypto you hold, including stable coins. Personally, I like to keep around $10,000 in cash that I can access quickly at any point just in case. Now, I don't want to put that money in stocks in case I need it during a market downturn. So what I do instead is I hold $10,000 worth of stablecoins on a BlockFi Earn account earning me 9% interest a year. I can still access the money anytime I like. I don't have to worry about market fluctuations, but I also don't have to put up with a measly 0.5% interest a year that I'd get with a savings account. For anyone interested in BlockFi, there's a link down below in the description. If you have an emergency fund that isn't making you money, then I highly suggest you check them out. You can also get up to $250 in free Bitcoin when you sign up using the link down below in the description. Okay, so here's the, here's the real question. Right. If things are bad as crazy right. right now, and you are a trader, right. not necessarily even a long-term investor, but a trader, let's just say you're, you're thinking about how to, where to put your money. I'd actually love to hear about it in the context of being a trader, but also actually as a long-term investor. What are you supposed to do in this environment? Well, I'm going to watch the Fed on Wednesday. Uh, if they treat these numbers, which were material events, they're very material, if they treat them with nonchalance, then I think it's just a green light to, 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 to bet heavily on every inflation trade. So it seems pretty clear to everyone that inflation is here to stay right now. But just a few months ago, it wasn't so clear to most people and those of us who were adamant inflation was not going to disappear were contrarians. Right now, the mainstream narrative is that yeah, inflation is here. Yeah, it's going to remain higher than we'd like, but it still isn't a real problem. Jim Cramer is still telling us to stay invested in the same overpriced stocks, but maybe in a few months we will look back at today and note how obvious it was that we should have been investing in inflation hedges. The market seems to be in denial. Inflation is here for good and everyone knows it, but treasuries still haven't reacted in price the way we would expect them to. Interest rates are still not being raised and QE is still pumping away, even if the Fed do claim that tapering is just around the corner. According to Paul Tudor Jones, the world of inflation hedges has changed. Gold is no longer king and neither are commodities. Now, Bitcoin is his inflation hedge of choice. Now, if that sounds at all intriguing to you, then check out my second channel, Stoic Crypto, as I'll be releasing a video discussing that topic in no time.
If you're new here, then consider checking out our Patreon. We're building a community of investors where we can talk and discuss all kinds of ideas just like we do on this channel. You also get access to loads of exclusive content that isn't available anywhere else, early access to all videos, private live streams, and buy and sell alerts for my personal portfolio. And you can help support the channel for as little as $1 a month. If you want to read those Business Insider and Bloomberg articles, but you can't because you're stuck behind a paywall, well, I've posted those full unedited articles onto my Patreon as well, and that's something I do all the time. On top of all that, once we reach 100 patrons, I'm going to hire a full-time video editor to help me put out even more content just like this. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe. If you want to help spread the word, then consider liking the video and leaving a comment, and YouTube will do its part by pushing this video out to more people just like you. I really do appreciate all the support you give the channel, even if it's just leaving a like. There's also a link to my other channel down below in the description that you can check out as well. In the description, there's a link to my favorite brokerage called eToro, where you can trade stocks and shares, crypto, commodities, foreign currencies, and more, all for 0% commission. And there's also a link down below in the description to BlockFi, where you can get up to $250 in free Bitcoin, and you can earn interest on whatever crypto you hold. Whether it's Bitcoin, Ether, or even stable coins, you can earn as much as 9% interest a year. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching. Stay stoic. Until next time.